Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel. I'm your host Muhammad Azam and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use navigation view controller, actually the UI navigation view controller to move forward or to move into nested uh, screens uh, when you're using a UI table view controller. So let's actually run this and you will see that there are two records displayed on the screen right now. Okay, Muhammad Azam and John Doe. And if I click on them, which I if I click on them, which I'm doing right now, it doesn't really do anything. Okay, so this is okay for small applications which uh, only have a single view. But in most applications, I would say around ninety percent of the application, you want to move forward. You want to see the details of Muhammad Azam or John Doe. So uh, we are going to do that. We are going to add a UI navigation view controller, which will enable us to do that. So let's do. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, when you add a UI navigation view controller, it adds a UI navigation tab bar, or the bar actually, not the tab, to, uh, the bar, and it also adds a, another view, which is the UI view. So it, for that UI view, you can assign a view controller that you want to uh, see. And UI navigation view controller uh, also has a property called view controllers, which will return all the controllers in the, in the uh, stack that it has and uh, it pushes and pops out the controllers whenever you need it okay so if i go to app delegate you will see that i no oh, i don't have okay here we go so if you go to the app delegate dot implementation file you can see that right now self dot view controller is the root view controller okay so we will change that let me go ahead and change that and we will create a ui navigation uh, controller and we will call it navigation view controller UI navigation view controller allocation uh, in it with root view controller so we are going to assign the first view that the user should see on the screen and in this case this is the view controller okay and the view controller is simply the one that we saw on the screen which displayed two records okay now what we're going to do is we are going to set the root view controller for the window as the navigation view controller and that's it okay let's run it and now you will see something interesting happening you can see this bar okay and as i said before when you're using a ui navigation controller uh, two things will get added the one thing is the ui navigation bar which you'll see over here in the dark gray color or the gray color and the another thing is the view which is this portion of the page or the v or, or the whole window where you can see these uh, two records being displayed okay and since we have already set up the in it uh, the root view controller of the navigation view controller to be the view controller this part actually displays and you can see that this part uh, automatically resizes itself to be displayed in this particular area uh, since the other portion is occupied by the navigation bar okay so when I click on them it doesn't really do anything okay so let's go ahead and fix that problem I have already added a customer details view controller and if you go over here it really doesn't have anything so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to so this is the implementation file for the view controller and whenever the user taps on the row we will handle the did select row at index path okay that particular method we will uh, implement this so let's go ahead and do that um, I think I have already exposed the property so I'm already exposing the property customer details view controller and let's see if this property is synthesized over here and it is synthesized so we are going to create the customer details view controller whenever the user clicks or touches the the row okay so if not self dot customer details view controller my microphone is getting in my way all the time okay need to view controller here we go so if it, it doesn't really exist then we are going to create this um, customer details view controller and then in it okay and now what we need to do is we need to get the selected customer because a user can select in this case Muhammad Azam and user can also select John Doe which is the second row so let's actually get the selected one 
customer equal to self dot customers which is a collection which holds both the customers and object at index and this is pretty easy to get since we already have the index path so we are going to say index path row so this will give us the selected customer okay now the customer details view controller which is defined over here it doesn't really have anything so what we'll do is we will expose a property call it non-atomic strong and we'll call it customer and let's say customer selected customer customer to edit whatever you want to say so let's say selected customer okay let's go to the implementation and we're going to say selected customer all right now let's go back over here and just going to say self dot customer details dot selected customer equal to customer okay and we are going to use the self dot navigation view control navigation controller which is available um, you know which is available in all the controllers basically and I think the method name let's see is push is it push ah does it display the method names I thought it was push or something I totally totally blanked out now self dot navigation view controller so here it is the navigation view controller let's see if I can go and see what method it has so here is the show view controller we have a navigation view controller um, so these are all the methods it has root view controller view controller push view controller okay so let's go over there in this particular file push view controller I'm not sure why it's not working but here we go self dot navigation view controller push view controller and then we are going to push the controller that you want to see now which in this case is customer detail view controller uh, animated yes okay so let's run this example again So we are already handling the did select row and you see when I click on any of these things any of the rows it goes to and automatically automatically creates a back button so that's cool right so it goes to the uh, this is the uh, customer details view controller and now if you want to display the selected customer it's pretty easy let's go ahead and create a label let's give it a width like over here maybe and um, selected customer so let's go over there say property non-atomic strong IB outlet UI label uh, name label okay and we are going to go over here and synthesize this which is name label let's go to the XIB file and connect this go to the implementation and now we will say viewed it appear so we just implement that method so view will appear and over here you can um, let me see super view will appear animated whatever yes and uh, you can actually pass in self dot name label dot text equal to the self uh, dot selected customer maybe selected customer dot name okay let's run this now and here we go so when I click on the different uh, rows you can see I can actually pass data around okay and of course right now I'm just displaying the name but it you can display anything you want uh, just just expose the properties in the selected customer like whatever the customer is I mean it can have name and 
you know, first name, last name, uh, email address, whatever. So you can just assign different things to different labels or s switches or, you know, other controls and it will appear. So that's pretty much it. So you saw using the navigation view controller, it, it's, it makes it very easy when you have a kind of like a hierarchical structure and you want to click a row in the UI table view and go forward to a details view. Now in iOS 5, uh, SDK, they have introduced Storyboard, which makes it extremely easy. So you don't even have to write the navigation view controller code. Uh, you can simply use the Storyboard designer to make all the, all the links. And hopefully I'll cover that later in the future tutorial. So hope you like it. And if you do and want to support the Azam Sharp channel on YouTube, I highly recommend that you give a small donation on PayPal and you can give your donation to paypal at awesomesharp at gmail.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.